A really awesome feature available in Office is App Mentions. App Mentions are a great way to direct your colleagues' attention to specific items. So for example, if you're sending a long email that most people likely will not read through entirely, and you have certain items that you need to direct to colleagues, you can come in here. So let's say in here I need to make sure Diego gets a note about status reports. I will come in here, type the at symbol, and then start to type my colleague's name. Once Diego pulls up, I can press enter and type a message that will be directed to him. Now when Diego opens this email, he will see this at mention tag which directs his attention to this note for him. Another great thing that it does is that it automatically adds him into the to field. So if I have another item that I want to direct towards, let's say Joni, I will start to type her name, press enter when she pulls up, and write her a note. As you can see, once I at mention Joni, she also gets added to the recipients list. Another lesser known feature in Outlook that I love using is a Smart Lookup. Smart Lookup is also available in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, so it's definitely a trick that you'll find useful in a variety of programs. Smart Lookup gives you the ability to grab information, check spelling, and even embed pictures without leaving your email. For a first example, let's say I've forgotten what the capital of France is mid-email. So if I start to type out a statement and I forget the answer, I can highlight, click on Smart Lookup, and right here at the top I get a quick answer that tells me Paris is the capital of France. Now I can also use it to spell check, so let's say that I've completely forgotten how to spell France. I will highlight again, select Smart Lookup, and right here at the top, it's going to show me the correct spelling and give me a definition. Now, another really great thing that I can do with Smart Lookup is embedding pictures. I like to use pictures and emails a lot, and um, this keeps you from having to open your browser, find the picture you want, copy it, and go back to your email. Embedding pictures is extremely easy. For example, I can just type out what I'd like a picture of, highlight it, click on Smart Lookup, and again, just like the others, we have a definition and a proper spelling at the top. And then if you scroll down, you'll see pictures. If I click on one of these pictures and add, you'll see that this picture is going to automatically replace the text that I highlighted. So that is a very quick way to get some awesome pictures in your email without having to go to your browser. Personally, one of my favorite productivity tips to use in the Office suite of programs, especially Outlook and Word, is the Quick Parts feature. If you have template type messages that you send frequently or text blocks you copy into emails often, Quick Parts is going to save you a lot of time. For example, let's say I'm an AP and I need to remind the sales team to submit expense reports fairly often. I'll open a new email, go ahead and type my email message out. To save this as a quick part, I need to just click and drag to highlight, go to insert, over on the right you'll see quick parts, click on that and select save selection to quick part gallery. Here you get a chance to name, choose the gallery and category it saves to, give it a description, you've got some other options there as well. Press OK to save. And you can now see if we go to insert and quick parts, the sales team reminder email has been saved and I can just click to insert. Another really awesome thing is that once you've saved a quick part, you can actually just start to type it out and Office should recognize that you're typing a quick part and give you the option to press enter to insert.
Another really great thing about Quick Parts is that it will save formatting. So this is a really good use case for um, weekly status reports. I have one saved already, so I'll start to type weekly. It recognizes that I'm going to enter a weekly status report. I'll press enter to insert, fill out my template, add my recipients, and send off. A feature that can save you a lot of time is called Insights, and you'll find it on the Home tab in Outlook. So I'm going to click on Insights, and I do this on my own Outlook a couple of times a week, and it's giving me some really nice advice, and the more that I use it, the better the suggestions get. So here, if I'm going to take some time off, I could update my calendar, and it'll notify the people that I collaborate with the most. There's an online dashboard. We're not going to look at that today. This is really nice. So we're not working just to respond to emails all day long. And so this encourages you to find some blocks on your calendar. It'll look at your calendar and bring back two, two and a half hour blocks where you can block time to be heads down in a project. And it'll automatically set your status for Teams to do not disturb. I haven't, I'm in a demo account right now, so it's encouraging me to set my lunch hours so that I preserve that time. And then it's also looking at my emails. So it has right here, follow up on my requests. So three days ago, I had asked Megan Bowen to do something for me and it's asking me here if I wanna follow up or if I'd like to mark this as done. It'll also look through my emails and remind me if somebody has asked me to do something in an email and then I can mark it to follow up or mark them as done as well. If you haven't tried Insights yet, I strongly encourage you to check it out. It saves me a bunch of time every week.